Good evening, sir. I'm Yamni Vanjari from third year B.Tech Engineering Physics. Today, I'm going to present about staircase waveform generation using 805 in microcontroller. So this is a staircase waveform and we have uh, uh, five steps here and it resembles a staircase. So here we have voltage on y axis and time on x axis. So what is a waveform? A waveform it is a graphical representation of the shape of the wave that indicates its characteristics. A waveform is a graphic representation of how a quantity such as voltage varies under particular circumstances or over time. So these are different types of waveforms here. So we have sine wave, square wave, ramp wave, sawtooth wave, triangular wave and this is the staircase wave. Staircase waveform. It is constrained to lie between maximum and minimum voltage values. This is the maximum value and this is the minimum value. And there will be number of small step changes in voltage level between maximum and minimum voltage values. These are the steps here and these will be between the maximum value and the minimum voltage values. Next this is a 8081 uh, and microcontroller and this is a DAC converter. Uh, now what is a DAC converter? It converts digital signals into analog signals. Now here we provide 8-bit uh, data which is digital input and this 8-bit uh, digital to analog converter it converts this digital input into the analog voltage. DAC interfacing uh, using 8051. We have accumulator can have maximum value of 255 and uh, number of steps is equals to n. Now what is the step size? It is maximum amplitude by n. So uh, here we to get 5 steps what we do is we divide 255 by 5 and we get 51 uh, in decimal value and uh, 33h in uh, um, hexadecimal. DAC interfacing using 8051. This is a 8051 and this is a DAC converter. And now what we do is we connect port 2 to DAC and send the accumulator contents to the port 2. Now accumulator must be incremented by 51 for each step. So this is the code for staircase waveform generation and I have used the Keel New Vision software to write this code. Now this is a code with comments. First what we do is initially uh, we create, uh, we store uh, 0 as initial value of the wave. And then we configure P2 as the output port and we go to the DLA sub program now. Uh, this is the DLA sub program which what we do what we do here is we store the delay loop value in R0 and uh, we again store delay loop value in R1 and then decrement and repeat uh, till uh, R1 is 0 and then decrement and repeat till R, R0 is 0 this loop and then we return to the main program again. Now uh, this main program what it does is it increments 51 to the next step of, uh, step of the wave and then accumulator content is sent to CRO through the port 2 and then it goes to the delay sub program again to create some delay. So what exactly happens here is uh, then after this uh, we go to the start loop again to infinitely generate the um, staircase waveforms. So what happens here is First we create a delay and then increment it by 5 and then again create a delay increment it by 51 increment uh, sorry delay and then again increment it by 51. So this we have to do until it reaches a maximum value which is 255. From 0 till 255 we create delay increment by 51 create delay and increment by 51. So this is a delay sub program which is used to uh, create some delay and this is for incrementing 51 and then after this uh, what we do is we go to the start loop again to create another staircase waveform which, which is done infinitely. So this is the result which we can observe in the uh, Keel software and if we zoom in we get this which is uh, this is one staircase waveform and then we go to the start and then again we get another staircase waveform and this is uh, generated infinitely. So what are the applications of staircase waveform? In the field of electronics such as in television systems, telemetry and analog and digital communication systems, 
we use the staircase waveform thank you